I think the relationship between film photography and digital photography has never been stronger because there is such a drive to create something that looks like film photography on digital cameras, more so now, I think, than, than ever before. Film photography is beautiful. There's no getting away from that. And there are so many people these days trying to find their way back to film. Maybe not directly using a film camera, but you know, using some kind of recipe in their camera, which will enable them to take photographs with their latest digital camera, but have that camera emulate a beautiful film stock which will mean they can take that photograph straight from camera, already processed, put it onto an app, onto their phones, and use it on social media or send it to friends, whatever, without having to use a laptop or an iPad or anything to edit the photo. So in a funny way, it's like having a preset already in your camera. And Fujifilm have made that really easy especially with the cameras from the last few years, but even going back to the original cameras, you can manipulate a lot of the, the image. And I'm gonna give you one today, which is one of my favorite ever film stocks. And you can take a picture, you can have it immediately processed and completely get rid of the need to ever have to use a editing package ever again. Now, if you've got one of the very latest Fujifilm cameras, then you will be able to do a lot of the hard work in your camera. And in fact, any camera bought over the last few years will have the ability to change your menu to emulate a particular film stock. And you can create it from scratch. Uh, to save you the hassle of that, I've been putting videos out recently with different film stocks, and I've shown you Kodachrome, uh, Kodak Tri-X, I did five film stocks the other day, and um, I'm gonna show you one today, which is my absolute favorite, and I mentioned it in my last, my last film stock video, and it's called Kodak Ektar. Now, on a day like today, a sunny day, Kodak Ektar is utterly beautiful, because for landscape and travel photography, it brings out the real, beauty in the colors, but it's such a warm film. And I've spent a long time working out the different settings to put into my camera to create that film stock. And the brilliant thing about it, not only you know do you have that opportunity to shoot Kodak Ektar on your digital camera, but also unlike a digital camera, you can see through your EVF set up as Kodak Ektar which means you're actually seeing it all the time through your EVF. Whereas with a normal optical viewfinder on a normal camera, you know, film camera, you're just seeing the world optically. Whereas now we're seeing it through 
this film stock. So that means you can see exactly when this film will work for you and when it will be the right picture. It makes a big difference. So as much as I love film photos, the actual process of using a film camera is not always very convenient, especially if I need the picture quickly. And actually now I think we can create such good alternative film stocks on our cameras like these Fujifilm ones with all the access Fujifilm have given us into our own recipes. I just feel like now we don't need to shoot so much film if, if you don't want to, to be able to create images which are, you know, still look like they've got that same authentic style. So I'm going to put the recipe on next. Hope you enjoy it. If you put any pictures on Instagram, do tag me in. I love seeing people use my film stocks, my recipes. So yeah, do tag me in so I can have a look at what you've done.